There was an outpouring of support from the community at tonight's We Are Savannah rally in Fargo. Tomorrow, one of the accused in Savannah Graywind's death will be sentenced. Valley News Team's Ashley Holcomb shows us how people are showing their support as many are still seeking closure. To me, it's a sign we need to wake up as a community. Savannah is us. Savannah is part of us. It's been six months since the murder of Savannah Graywind. And today, the We Are Savannah rally was another step for many who are still hoping to come to terms with the horrific event. Not only did Savannah's murder affect the family, it affected the community as well. They rallied not only to honor Savannah, but all of the other missing and murdered Indigenous women as well. And I think of myself and my children and my grandchildren. My dream is to die before any one of them die. And that is the dream of many of us. Brooke Cruz was one of the people taken into custody during the investigation after Savannah's baby was found in her apartment. Her sentencing is tomorrow. I hope that the judge looks and sees and hands out the punishment, life without parole. The event led many to voice their feelings about safety in the community and how it's up to us to keep an eye on each other. We have to take care of all the people that come into our community and make sure it's a safe place, make sure that children and mothers feel safe in the community. Just another step in moving forward from a terrible tragedy. And it hurt us all, and it will take us a long time to heal from that. In Fargo, Ashley Holcomb, Valley News Live. As mentioned, Cruz pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit murder and kidnapping in Savannah's death. 32-year-old William Hain, which also is a, who also is accused, pleaded not guilty to the same charges and is awaiting trial in May.